Hey guys, uh, this video you're about to see is uh, the trip that we took in the Philippines. Um, it's not a lot of footage, um, it's a whole week put into one video just because um, I didn't get as many, uh, as much footage as I'd hoped to just because I was sick for part of it and the weather and a lot of my camera wasn't working so just kind of some scraps but uh, I'm just going to commentate through it and uh, just show you the week uh, in one video just kind of just kind of like a snapshot of what we did and uh, some of the things that we saw. So it started out here in this, uh, this is where we're staying, it's basically like a little two, three bedroom uh, house, excuse me, and um, no air conditioner, uh, we basically slept on the floors, no running water, it was pretty tough living conditions, um, it was well over 100 degrees every day, it was very humid, um, but it was awesome just to really get to experience the kind of the culture and, and the way that they lived. So this is what our transportation looked like. Uh, it was basically you would catch a jeepney, as this thing is called, or a little tricycle, and that would take you around town. Here we are getting into one. You have 10 pesos? Yeah. So this is our group. Uh, see that guy in the black shirt? His name's Nathan. Uh, he was born in the Philippines, but he was raised in America, so he speaks both fluent English and Tagalog, which is uh, the Filipino language. So he was basically our uh, translator slash guide throughout the week. One of the nights we entertained ourselves was by sweeping geckos off the ceiling. Um, they kind of congregate around this light here. See them there? Little cute buggers. <laughs> Where are you going? It's right there! Oh, I thought he died. Oh, it's right there on the, tr the branch. It's right there. Is that on the branch? Check this guy out, guys. This guy is throwing um, coconuts down from this tree here. Um, just outside the place that we're staying. Um, right here. Steve, Olga, and I are watching this, and he's up there. I, don't even, I didn't even see him go up, but anyways, he climbed up, and he's just like chopping these things up and throwing them down. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Mm -hmm. so good. You good? Wow. That lady you just saw, his name is Olga. She was the lady whose house we were staying at. Thank you. Okay, so this is Phil about to try some fresh coconut milk. It just got cut open by one of the women here. And here he goes. It'll give him tons of energy, we're hoping. Really messy. So the basic concept concept is just to slurp it. Yep. Okay, here we are at the basketball court across the street. I'm vlogging for Phil. Uh, the boys decided that they're going to play basketball with some of the local Filipino guys. So uh, they're just warming up right now, getting ready to go. We got Elaine over here. She's uh, watching. We've got uh, Mariana. We're trying to get her to play, but she's a little bit of a chicken. I want to play with the little kids, not the big kids. <laughs> and here's the guys getting ready, shooting some hoops. We'll keep you updated on how it goes, the white guys versus the locals. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna get one of these little cycle, cycles and we're gonna take it in town. Nathan's kinda showing us where we're all gonna sit. So all five of us are gonna be on this thing. Where do I sit, Nathan? Right here. Okay. Alright. It's gonna be with you per person. This is it. We got the driver. The girls are down here. Crash on this, we're so dead. <laughs> totally are at the mall now and just went to Starbucks. They have a Starbucks here in the Philippines. I got a mug from my grandma and I got one from my brother the other day. And now we're grabbing some produce and we're gonna go back to the house. 
and I was like, man, I wish that this mall was open 24 hours because I would totally sleep here. This is just miserable with no air conditioning. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the Philippines, but the weather, if you don't have an air conditioner in the summer, is so hard to deal with. It's just like really tough. It's like, it's weird. Oh, one thing I noticed, like everything here is really short. It's like riding the Jeep like a headed duck. All the mirrors in the bathrooms, I'm always like this to look in the mirror. And it, yeah, it's just like so different over here because everybody's so short. It's weird. It's weird. It's, it's cool though. I like, I love the Philippines and everything. And you guys are totally next to spam. <laughs> this day was amazing. This was definitely my favorite day. Here we got to minister to uh, children who were living right next to a trash dump. Um, here we are. This is like a little church, a uh, little hole in the wall church. Um, Colleen's in there speaking. Um, I think right now she's praying for the pastor and then she's going to speak to the children in there. Um, and it was just amazing just to be able to minister to these people who really don't have much. Um, it really ministered to me. Uh, and then right after this, we went over and um, saw the big trash dump. And literally, there are just people out there walking around picking trash up. Uh, they would take it and sell it, and that's how they made their income. Um, it was really, really poor living conditions. So, um, yeah, we, so we just prayed, did a prayer walk, and just hoping that God will change their circumstances. Here we are at a church inside of jail, behind the, in the back there are the prisoners. Um, it's a little prisoner choir, um, pretty large prison, uh, medium security, so people can walk around. Here the, are the uh, prisoners performing for us, uh, a song they prepared. Um, it was Olga's birthday, it's actually her, uh, her birthday party that we're attending there in the prison. In your plan, let 